EA Sports, and the PGA Tour, so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Jolla, California, and scenic Torrey Pines Golf Course, it's the final round of the Farmers Insurance Open. Well, this is unquestionably one of the best spots in the sport. We know that by looking at the field. The golf course is immaculate. This is Southern California in all its glory as we check the Sunday leaderboard. Our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. Boy, he got that right on the center of the club face. A big drive there to get the round started. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. 137 is the number. Pin back right so he can take an aggressive line. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot. Nine feet left here for Birdie. Nah, that's going to slide by to the left. Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Yeah, this is a hole where a big drive can really get you down there, and that is a big one here at two. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second for this par four. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. Yes, a good roll there. That's in for birdie. And he's going to move to 30 under par. Okay, center of the green, good shot. This one gonna require some pace back up the hill for birdie. Oh yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that score continues to impress. He is now at 31 under par. Driving has been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. So, Iona, this is second from the fairway. There's 137 yards to the flag and the pin on the front portion. Stuck the follow-through right there. This could be really good. Oh, this is an electric start. Already we're seeing birdies galore. And another great iron shot setting up another. Not much to that. It is a birdie here at four. That's going to move him to, you ready for this, 32 under. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. 
He split the middle of the street on this one. He's going to have a good look. Second shot. Coming out of the gates today beautifully, and there's another chance. A great opportunity here for Birdie. Yes, a good read. It's a Birdie here at five. And he's going to move to 33 under par. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Oh, this par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. Yeah, big explosion. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. Yes, a very well played hole. That's in for birdie. And that's going to get him to minus 34. This round's been a clinic so far, and that's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. Yes, he's left himself 140 yards to the flag and the pin right at the back. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now gonna be a grind. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll be unable to take that score any further under par. He'll stay right where he is. This could be a good one. Tell you what, I've enjoyed watching this display all day long. We hear the phrase in football, ball control. It applies to what we've seen here from this player. That is an outstanding display of ball control. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And he's gonna move to minus 35 for the tournament. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway.
That's a nice shot right there. Landed just short, released onto the green, and now a chance for an eagle three. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Nota the third. 144 left to the hole. Would not surprise me a bit if you were to stick this one close. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. 13 feet away. Nope. So that's in for par to start this backside. And pars are fine at this point with this tournament well in hand. That's a good looking shot just left of the flag stick and he'll have that left for his birdie. Okay, that ball on line all the way. It's a birdie here at 11. And stop the presses if you've heard this before. He's well on his way to yet another victory on the year. That will do just fine. Now back toward the ocean. This is second at 12. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there? But that is an excellent approach shot. This now, seven feet for his birdie. Uh, nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. And this is no longer a contest, folks. This one is all over but the shouting. so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Going to take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in a really good position here on the par five. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday and a chance for another one today. Now this for another birdie.
and this will be a five foot putt here. Well judged, that is in for par here at 13. And he'll remain well, well under par. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Ah, that's how you play this 14 hole. That's in for birdie. And this one was over a while ago. This is just a walk in the park now. Now, just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm. Hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Now this from 166 yards out. That's a good shot. And more importantly too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll be unable to take that score any further under par. He'll stay right where he is. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this par three. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Mm, might overread it just a bit, and it stayed out wide left of the hole. Okay, that in for a bogey at 16. But fortunately, this one still well in hand. Showing no signs of a let up here. This tournament seemingly under control as that's in the fairway here at 17. So Iona, this his second from the fairway. Yes, 135 yards left to the flag. Pin on the right hand side, so plenty of room to the left of it. I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. Nope. I could have erased the bogey from the previous hole, but no dice there. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll remain well, well under par.
Well, it's a rarity on the PJ Tour, but a perfect 14 for 14 off the tee. This has been a marvellous exhibition. What a good shot that is. Home and two on the par five. Remember made eagle earlier in the round, Frank? Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. I'll tell you what, lag putting such an underrated part of the game, and that is well done there. Okay, so a lost opportunity there at three putt par at the last. Frank, unquestionably a satisfying victory for our featured player. Uh, you won 15 times on tours around the world, including the PGA Tour. What's the significance of the second victory? It's a great question, Rich. And, and I think that to answer you simply, it's huge, but sort of uh, detail it more. The first one, there's always question marks. People tag around, is it a fluke? Were they lucky? Did they chip it on the last? So you work just as hard, if not harder, for the second one. And then when that happens, you feel validated and you feel finally over the hump. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour.